What's up, how's it going? This is Bharat here. Welcome back to yet another video with the Coda Monk. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to do some complex animations using the Rive app and integrate that with the Flutter application. In the previous video, we did see about Rive application and did some simple splash screen animation. But in this video, it's going to be really, really complex. So make sure you watch it till the end and catch all the stuff that I'm talking about. If you're new to this channel and do not know what I'm doing, make sure to watch all the video in my channel and then come here, subscribe to the channel and do the like, share and all those stuff. All right, let's get this thing started because we've got a lot of things to cover in this video. All right, so to begin with, to in order to do this animation, I did it completely using the Rive app and the Flutter code. So technically it's just one simple FLR file and I'm able to present to you guys two different animations using that simple file. So I'm only telling you guys how to do this and how to effectively put this into your Flutter application in this video. All right, to begin with, uh, I'm going to be using the, uh, as usual, the Rive application that I showed you guys in the previous video. If you haven't watched that video, it's not a problem. You can just follow it along in this video because technically I've tried to decouple both of them. Uh, so what are you going to try to do is that you're going to create a simple, uh, simple animation here using whatever is applicable for us. I'm not doing anything complex here, just simple strokes and all of those simple things. So to begin with, uh, everything, every Rive app has an artboard. All you have to do is just go to rive.app app and create a simple account there and you can just as soon as you create an account you are taken to this screen which is where we are going to be drawing our entire animation like i told you in the previous video again you can make it as simple as possible like you do not have to make it anything complex just start with something simple and also always have in mind that everything in an animation it has to be having as much as a whole number as possible it might not be the usual thing but try to have as many whole number as possible and always look at the numbers to align everything properly to begin with we actually are going to resize our artboard here make sure the size is actually 375 and 750 that's what i did in the previous video again and uh, jumping straight into this video we're going to be making use of the first shape which is ellipse shape just put your ellipse shape here that's what i've done just draw it out and as you, as you can see you can just pull it out and it'll come up and i've just given it a size of 170 by 170. so next thing is we're going to draw three simple rectangles here uh, that's also possible using the rectangle through the shape and as soon as you draw the shape out just have to just take it out and uh, draw these three lines here i filled it with a uh, size of uh, one and one and also given it a position properly positioned at 140 and 340 similarly this one is again positioned at 175 and 380 and this one is positioned at 150 by 360. so all of these are just sample numbers that i threw in the, uh, whatever looked appealing to me i just stuck with that you don't have to make it complex i can just have to make it as simple as possible time to look at the animation again here this is a very simple animation that we're going to do in this one is to just go back and as this is going to be where we're going to play with our animations here so we technically have just three strokes three lines and you're going to be playing with the entire lines in this uh, one so you just go create a simple animation that is the left one here you just name it as menu load that's what i've done and uh, you can just start in hitting your keyframes right along this line here so go to your rectangle one and then make sure the opacity is zero and similarly for all the three ones my opacity is set to zero and as i progress along uh, around this point here which is a 15 second mark i've actually made the opacity as one so also i'm going to be following a simple if you can just double click this here as you can see it's a simple linear progression here just doing a linear interpolation so that the entire thing comes up linearly one after another and as you can see the first one comes at 15 second mark the second one at 25 second mark and the final one is at 30 second mark so 30 35 ish so that's what i've done just the, just the number that i've played along with and uh, we're just done with this entire thing so this one is very simple this is what we're going to show to the user when the first time the menu is loaded so just a simple circle here you can just make it any shape you want to you could give a simple uh, ellipse here you could give a square whatever you want to give and this is the simple animation that is going to be played when the user just opens up the screen opens up the menu bar now the time to do, look at our second animation which is going to be i've just named it as go back animation as you can see we're going to be playing along with the three simple strokes again so first thing first uh, all i did was just make sure that i aligned everything to the center here properly and i just started going and playing along with the directions here so what i'm doing is i'm just rotating these values as you can see if i go back here and do this rotation for you to see what the exact rotations are like you can see that 
the rotation is 8.33 for this and it's actually minus 25 degrees so i'm just going to be doing that as you as i progress along with this line again i have made it actually 25 degrees at around the 30 second mark and this the center line is going to be moved So as you can see the line is being moved from this point to this point which can still be controlled using the positions here so that's what i've done and my animation is ready so this did take me like say 20 minutes to do the each of the animations i had to properly make sure that they are aligned properly and all of those things and i could i'm actually done with the entire thing so the main key point here remember is that in the previous video we did not worry about multiple animations being shown but in this video we are actually worried about that we are going to give two different names both of the names are not same and as you can see uh, the keyframes are different here it's actually stuck to 60 frames per second and here to 60 frames per second but i'm actually looking at a two second mark here so that is what is going to be different the both of them and uh, we are ready to actually export this out as a simple F loss. I just click the export here. Make sure you export it as a binary file. I've already exported that and also included that in my Android Studio. So I guess as you can see, I've actually named it as button anim.flr. So it's going to be a simple animation that's going to happen on the screen. So I just named it as button anim and uh, make sure you put it into asset and go to your pubspec.yaml and also import that in your uh, project so these are two important uh, prerequisites and if you are actually following this video directly uh, you, we are going to be making use of the flare flutter plugin which is actually the official plugin from the rive or the previously known as flare and we are going to be directly going to the main dot file and importing this in our uh, project as well so make sure that you import this in your main dot file and we are ready to jump into the application so as you can see the application is very simple i'm not doing anything complex here just a simple scaffold to overlay the entire thing and directly jumping into this one i'm just going to be initially showing a simple button which is going to be a flat button and uh, that button on press is going to do a navigator push of the home page so the push of the home page is going to be done here but we're going to be playing the first anim which is nothing but the menu load anim from here so this is going to be the menu load anim that's going to be played so as you can see just go back and this is going to happen on the ui and on as soon as that happens the user might click the on button so that for example this is actually the main loaded button now i'm just going to click this and it's going to pop my next activity now so i'm just having the same activity here again i've just popped it out and I, I also i'm going to be playing now the go back animation on this and that's what is actually playing here so just play the go back animation and on clicking this back up it's going to come back up and show me the user's menu load animation so this is going to go back and forth you can just play along with this at any point you want wherever you want to make sure that everything is properly aligned and not um, haphazard so that the animation looks neat and cool and everything of that sort you can extend this to anything you want to you can even use the inbuilt flutter animations like a uh, not the flutters uh, sliding transition you could do a crossway transition all of these transitions are possible possible uh, when you're switching between the widgets and you can just it's the imagination the imagination is the end here so make sure you just play along with anything that you have and you want to play along and uh, make sure you also just leave a comment if you got something new and i'll just feature that in my page in my blog article if you got something very very cool to play along i'll definitely feature that in my blog article so make sure that you drop down the public resource link from here so as soon as you, as you can see you just go here and you can actually get a public url so this is going to be the public url that i'm talking about and you can just share it along with to me just put it in my either of my social media links and i'll just make sure that if it is really cool and it's shareable i'll just make sure that i put it in my blog article i'll give a shout out as well so imagine it's the end again here just make sure you play along with it just spend some time here i didn't spend more than 30 minutes with the entire thing and actually you could arrive at this simple animation uh, so that uh, again brings me to the end of this video make sure that you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you like the content that i'm putting here a lot of content coming up in 2020 make sure that you subscribe let me do the next video unless Bharat Pisa have a super awesome day